Welcome to the CTTP training videos. In this video, the calibration of a Type B pressure meter is demonstrated as described in ASTM C231. There are two portions of this calibration, including a check of the initial pressure line and a check of the dial gauge reading. To verify the initial pressure mark, fill the measure with water. Screw the lower straight tube into the threaded petcock hole on the underside of the cover. Clamp the cover assembly to the measure. Clamp opposite clamps at the same time. Ensure the clamp fingers are fully engaged under the flange to prevent leaks. Inject water into the petcock with the attached lower tube. When water emerges from the other side, Jar the meter while adding water to expel all air from under the cover. Top off both petcocks with water. Close the air bleeder valve. Pump until the gauge dial hand is on the initial pressure line. Stabilize the gauge hand by lightly tapping the dial gauge with your fingers. Bleed off excess pressure by opening the air bleeder valve. Use small pumps for fine adjustments. The initial pressure mark is generally written on the dial face. The initial pressure lines are found just below the zero mark. Close both petcocks. Open and hold the main air valve and tap the sides of the bowl with a mallet to release trapped air. Tap the dial gauge with your fingers to stabilize, still holding the main air valve open. If the initial pressure line is correctly positioned, the dial gauge needle should read 0.0%. The initial pressure line shall be adjusted if two or more determinations show the same variation from 0%. Repeat the check after adjusting the setting for the initial pressure line. Since changing the initial pressure line may alter the dial gauge readings, always perform a check of the dial gauge readings after adjusting the initial pressure line. To check the dial gauge reading, now attach the upper curved tube to the same petcock with the lower tube attached. Pump until the dial gauge hand is on the initial pressure line and stabilize by lightly tapping the gauge. Place the calibration vessel under the curved tubing to catch water. Open the petcock with the tubing. Open the main air valve by depressing the lever carefully to fill the calibration vessel. The calibration vessel is usually 5% of the bowl volume, but must be determined according to Annex Sections A1.2, A1.3, and A1.4.2. Open the petcock opposite of the tubing to allow the water to drain back into the measure. Pump until the dial gauge hand is on the initial pressure line. Stabilize the gauge hand by bleeding, pumping, and tapping the gauge. Close both petcocks. Hold the main air valve open and tap the sides of the bowl with the mallet. Tap the dial gauge lightly with your fingers to stabilize. Once stabilized, read the dial gauge. The dial reading must match the amount of water removed within plus or minus 0.1%. If the dial reading variation is more than 0.1% from the correct air content, set the dial hand to the correct air content and recheck the initial pressure mark. If a new initial pressure mark is required, repeat the calibration check of the dial readings. Please visit our website at cttp.org for other training videos and modules.